Hey guys, G here. Welcome back to Luna Geckos. You know what? Today we're going to talk about $10,000 worth of breeding mistakes we made in the 2021 season. But before we get into that, if you watched last Sunday's video from the Stafford, Texas Herp Show, you saw that Handy Dandy picked up a bunch of things at the show, and these are two of her favorites. This one I actually get. It's an isopod. He's cool. We named him Wally. This one, I'm not real sure what it is. It's heavy. It's six pounds heavy. Six pounds of what? Rainbow fluorite. What's it do? It takes negative energies and makes them positive energies, promotes healing, gives you clarity. Well, you know what? Since we're talking about $10,000 worth of mistakes that I've made in the 2021 breeding season, I'm going to hold this for a minute. You listen to the intro, and we'll be right back. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, we're back. How does it make you feel? I don't know. Kind of makes me feel like today's video should have been four mistakes, not three mistakes. Well, it reduces stress and dispels mental illness, so maybe you should keep it. Yeah, we might hang on to it for a little bit, especially since we're talking about $10,000 worth of mistakes we made in the 2021 breeding season. Let's get into it. Mistake one. I like to call this the overconfidence mistake. Sure. No backups, that's what it says. In many instances, we had no backups. There's a famous quote, maybe it's a proverb. I should have paid more attention in school. Anyway, it goes, overconfidence will drown you in a sea of reality. And boy, did we get a taste of reality in 2021. Right before we left Canada, we went thin on a lot of our projects. We sold off our 1-1 group of pure, proven firewaters. We sold our proven blood emmerine male. His name was Mean Joe. Mean Joe Green. And we sold all temperature sex males, except for Mr. Cinco. We bet the farm on Mr. Cinco, and you know how that turned out. So this season, no blood emmerines, and for reasons we'll tell you in a little bit, no firewaters. We sold all but one Turkmenicus female, went with a first-year breeder, no dice, sold our Max Snow Eclipse Black Knight group. Granted, they were head eclipse, and we wanted to move forward to visual eclipse so we could produce Super Snow Eclipse Black Knights. So far, no eggs. Still have season left, though, so we'll see. That one might turn out. And boy, we got pretty lucky on our Black Knights Snows and Bells because we went down to no backups, single male, can you imagine if that Black Knight male wouldn't have produced? We would have been burning cash like a bonfire. You met all these boys and meet the boys. And fortunately, Eddie panned out, Bo panned out, and Thomas panned out. Otherwise, there'd probably be some tears in this video. How about mistake two? Too many new breeders. In mistake one, we got thin. We sold off proven breeders used a lot of holdbacks, and the result, we were counting on first-time breeders, males and females, to carry 2021. And it didn't work exactly as planned. So in mistake one, we had a proverb. For mistake two, Confucius once said, dance with who brung you. All right, maybe it wasn't Confucius, but I read it in a fortune cookie, and we didn't follow that advice in 2021. We went with 18 first-time breeder females, almost two-thirds of our 2021 breeder females, first-time animals. 11 of 13 males, first-timers. In 2020, we averaged 5.8 clutches per female. Now, I get it. There's still a ways to go in 2021, but as of right now, we're only averaging 3.0 clutches per female. I expect that number is going to come up, 
It's not going to get the 5.8. It'll probably be somewhere between 4 and 5 when all is said and done for 2021. Three of our first-time females have yet to lay a fertile egg, and another three of our first-time females have yet to even lay a single egg, fertile or infertile. We shall see. So they say good things come in threes, or is it pairs? Anyway, bad things come in threes, and we have three mistakes. Our third mistake, bad things happen. That's right. This is our Murphy's Law mistake. Murphy's Law states, if it can happen, it will happen. And it did happen in 2021. We started off the year with record cold here in the South that resulted in a power outage, which created all kinds of panic for us here at Luna Geckos. You can watch our video on how to save your geckos during a power outage. After the power outage, pipes froze, no water, Mr. Cinco prolapsed. I think everybody knows that. And as we alluded to in mistake one, the reason we're not going to have any pure firewaters, our sole female, Molly, she became egg bound and sadly passed away. And if that wasn't bad enough, we might not have any rainwaters for 2021 because we only had a one two group. And our white and yellow rainwater, she was egg bound. She did pass an egg and hopefully she's back on track. But we'll have to wait and see. And we got pretty lucky the other day. We took a lightning strike to the building. Our thermostats went crazy, but everything seemed to be okay. No tail drops. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. I know, it's sad. We didn't want this video to be a downer. We wanted this video to help you. And hopefully you don't make the same mistakes that we made in 2021. If our plans would have went exactly as planned, we would have been making it rain. You're rolling now, baby. I love that clip. It's from our How to Start a Gecko Business for 1K. Check it out. Mr. Cinco heard his name and he wanted to come out. He wanted to come say hi to everybody and let you know he's doing fine. Check out his prolapse video. We felt like a tribute to Molly was appropriate. So watch this clip from Meet the Girls, where we introduce Molly. Oh, this is one of my favorites from 2020. This is Molly. She is a pure John Scarborough line firewater. We produced her last season, and you saw last week on Meet the Boys, you saw Oscar, who was also a 2020 holdback. Oscar and Molly. We're gonna, she's certainly size-wise ready to go. We're going to wait another month. We're going to pair them up in March and continue producing some of these beautiful pure fire waters. Look at that animal. She's spectacular. Now, she's named Molly because she's a fire water, and so I wanted to name her after a famous female firefighter and I came up with Molly Williams. Molly Williams was not only the first female but the first black female firefighter in New York City. Google it. You learned something today. So Molly, wherever you are, we're going to miss you. We'll always miss you. But we hope it's warm. We hope you have plenty of dirt to dig in. And we hope there's mealworms for miles. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Comment down below. And above all, hit that subscribe button and ring that notify bell so you don't miss content like this. But you know what you'll never miss? Sundays. That's right. Every Sunday, right here, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, new episode. And don't forget the merch, lunageckos.shop. Until next time, I'm G. That's Handy Dandy Camera Lady. This is Mr. Cinco. We're Luna Geckos. Tell him, buddy. See ya. Dude, where's my fluorite? It sound right, boy.